Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Heal with Sheila, your versatile vlogger because you have no idea what I have lined up next. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, tag your friends along, and let's continue growing this beautiful platform of Empowered Women. I want to share the signs and symptoms that you're actually in a narcissistic relationship. And yes, my healing journey continues on becoming Heal with Sheila. Another sign that you're going through a narcissistic relationship is the sense of feeling emptiness. You feel because you're trying to cope with the relationship you're in, you develop a shell. Yeah. So in that shell, you are guarding and protecting whatever it is that you have left in you and saving it, like guarding it to the life that you lose sense of who you are. So you become a shell. Okay. I remember going through this and just feeling lifeless, feeling like I am just existing. I'm not present. I am not living. I am just existing. And you just look dull. Your aura just literally is invisible. And you lose that shine and that light around you. Because you know when you smile, naturally your aura expands. You just have this beautiful radiance about you. But then when you're sad and depressed and everything, your body just goes down. You even start to slouch, you know, just to feel lifeless. I've been there. I've done that. I have, gosh, like, I don't know how I made it through into the happy, smiley person that I am now. But I still do have episodes of emptiness because the healing journey is something that never ends. Yeah, it's a continuation of where you need to be because it's a journey to your final destination but i remember even looking through um photos even how i connected with people i didn't want to be at events if i had to be i'll just drag myself there sit right at the back even wear black to be invisible if i had to and not interact with anybody so of course people will find like oh she's being rude she's being snobbish she's being Ugh. she's being that but then i'm like I don't have the life force in me to connect and interact with people and to just express whatever joy I have because I'm in a shitty situation. I'm in a hole. I'm in a pit with mud and dirt and I cannot throw out a smile and throw out some love and like, yeah, you got this girl. Like, no, you ain't got this because I ain't got it. How can you get it? You know, like you just stay in that pit of lifelessness if that's even a word yeah so that's a sure sign that you're in a narcissistic relationship you're just empty the person is there the person is present maybe you are sleeping with this person having sex with this person but then you just don't feel that connection there's a life like it's you just feel like they're just draining the life out of you okay and my mantra is you need to tell yourself every single day that I am life. You are a living being. Even the fiber on your head has life. Even the nails that you cut at the tip of your toes is life. You are life. You bring life into this world. Okay? You breathing is life. Your existence is life. You are life. Your energy body is, your, your chakras are life. You have blood going through your body. Your organs are working. Your digestive system is on a roll. Your brain is sending shooting signals from up here to down there. Everything is functioning. You are alive. You are life. So you tell yourself today, I am life. Because life has got you. No one owns you. Okay, get this straight. No one as much as they make it seem like I owe you. I own you. No, you don't. You be think you do. It makes you happy to believe that you own me. But smart women are not owned. No one in this world was brought in to be a slave of circumstances. A slave of whatever situation is you're going through. No, it is your life. You were born alone. 
you will die alone. By that I mean you are one soul. It's not our soul. No, 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 no. It is my soul. So you tell yourself today, I am life. Because you got this. Okay? Until my next video. Ciao.